So we've uh, got young Max, beautiful Malinois here. Um, we never worry about you know, whether he's gonna bite sleeves and stuff like that. We know he's gonna do it. Um, so we start to prepare for the civil bite, um, the live bite. Will the animal commit? And of course, we're not gonna risk a decoy's pants. Not in this business anyway. But any dog that's ready to snatch different equipment very early on in the game understands that it means fight means fight. So, we get ready. Start to agitate him now. You could almost uh, start to hear the knuckleheads in the background saying, Oh, that's not difficult. Any dog would do that. One of the things that we will be talking to you about is when you are raising a young dog that's very talented, the importance of helper work and decoy work. That will be covered shortly. Let's make a dog, not break a dog. Civil aggression, civil agitation, these are things that we're going to cover in, in depth. And there are different parameters uh, to, to these exercises. Um, because the dog spat out the different equipment just then, doesn't mean that there is a lack of commitment uh, when it comes to a directed bite. What we're talking about is stay focused on the man. Stay focused on the man. The same dog, um, 11 month old uh, Malinois Max, um, performing another exercise now, which is don't bite. The request is to, you know, pursue this criminal and hold this criminal at bay. Do not bite. You know, we know that he loves to bite. We know that he certainly will bite. But the training here is now separating the behavior modification. And in this particular request, the request is absolute verbatim. Don't bite. So important. 